Hey everyone, my name is Disha and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing our Halloween special and it is grudgy, it is horrifying to see this and today we will be working on this very design. Please subscribe to my channel and let's get started. So very quickly I'll just show you how I did this kind of a look on my nail. So what I need for this is some tissue papers like this. Then I need uh, this kind of cotton, uh, you just need normal cotton, that's it. You need a paint brush, okay. Then you need some water in a bowl and some fevicol, a very old Mr. Fevicol we need. And with the fevicol, I would just add a little bit of fevicol in water and make a mixture like this. And it should be like of a thick consistency. Please do not thin it out a lot, otherwise uh, the work won't be done. So I will just prepare the mixture keep it aside next step next step would be to find out a nail of your size say I will just try to fit this in so is this fitting yes it is so it is fitting my nail so I would just choose this size I will do rest of my nails later on I'm just um, doing it with you guys so that you can just see now if your nails have this kind of a curved shape you don't need it we will just clip it out into a round shape so that it can just fit to your cuticles more nicely now see do you understand that's what i did so i am just fitting it up now in this design the best part to do halloween nails is that there is nothing perfect about it you don't need to be perfect about it you can just do whatever you want so i am just preparing my nail right now so this you can see now this is done okay now i am gonna cut out the edges as and how I want like very very roughly I'm gonna do it and um, it's no perfectness required at all so I like this kind of a crooked shape of my nail let me just zoom in a little bit so that you can see right there and now what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna cut it out even more like I am uh, for my thumb I gave it like a diagonal cut for this I'm gonna give a slight uh, diagonal in a different direction okay let me just cut it like this so my nail is broken now here is my broken nail so these are the two pieces of my nail which are now ready right now next step next step I have to create the skin around my cuticles like I did here this is a kind of a skin that I have created as if my nail is just coming out it is just ripping apart my skin now the reason I'm using fevicol here is so that everybody can do it you can idly use a nail glue in order to stick your nail but I am using fevicol and because I'm using fevicol I am using see my fevicol on this is still very very wet so yes you have to give it time to dry out I have my dryer out so that I can just quickly once I finish with all my nails I will dry them out with help of a dryer and they will be rock solid hard so yeah take my scissor and I'll cut just random pieces of the tissue paper even you can just tear them apart we could just put some fevicol around my cuticles very very nicely now once your fevicol is through, I will just take the largest piece of your tissue paper and I would just place it on my here, like that. I will take my paintbrush, just put some fevicol on it and I would just stick it nicely on my all around, right? Just like that, as simple as that, okay? then i will just continue sticking these pieces and now uh, from this step onwards i will just try and create a little gap right here okay i will not stick the tissue paper on my nail anymore and i will just apply the fevicol mixture this is very very commonly done when you are doing your crafts and stuff so basically yeah so nothing new i'm doing it's just on nails i'm doing now i will take my this thing cotton a bit and i will just apply my cotton also in the similar manner i'll do this will just give the perfect fluffiness that we require would we'll put some glue mixture and again i'm gonna put my tissue once again yeah so my gap is maintained please take care
is gonna take a while to dry and I'm gonna use my hair dryer to dry it out okay and but also meanwhile it is drying I am gonna show you how can you create a wound on your hand and this technique you can also use for your face if you want to do some face makeup for Halloween and I so while your nails are drying you can also try this out let's get started Okay guys so now once they are drying and my wound here is drying nicely though I have put it under dryer for some time so it is drying out I don't want to deshape it so I'm really not touching it so I will work on my nails till then so I have uh, picked up a very skin tone kind of a polish here this is a dual polish by Revlon nail art which came as like a shiny matte nail enamel and it has a green on one side and it has a matte uh, kind of a skin shade on one side so basically I want to work with the skin shade that I am adding a element here on my pinky nail and this element is inspired by Robin Moss's I'm mention so now let me just apply a very um, you know the best part about Halloween you don't have to work you can just be as bad as you can yes you can be as bad as you can now what I'm sticking here are these small and these come from your kitchen this is rye you can just relate to it this is like rye kadana and you can just take it out from your kitchen and stick it on your nails and this will give um, this will look like as if your nail is infected and so we are making it even more creepy so yeah, this is done I will again gonna put some uh, you know color on them as well and I will just let every that's why I'm saying that you need time for this kind of a nail do because um, it needs time to dry out as well so this is how we are gonna do it see see how bad you can be yes so all my infected nail is now covered with <laughs> the polish so this is how it's gonna look as if <gasps> it is infected look at that how creepy it could be yes okay so uh, this is the basic idea now I am just gonna coat all my nails in this basic um, skin shade guys so I am back now my wound skin is actually a little wet right now and I need to give it a little more time so I will because it's all about patience yes so now let me start working on my nails and what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna first of all give this white um, tissue the skin that I have made I will give it a natural look and how will I do that I'm gonna use my foundation right here this foundation is my old foundation by kiko i'm gonna use this and i'm gonna use my makeup sponge to apply this foundation and let's see how do i do that
how it is gonna be once we are done with the foundation and now I'll just set the foundation up with my compact and here is my compact I'll just take my brush <laughs> finished uh, design I should say no that's not a design this is really really scary and very very bad I have all my crooked nails right here you can see these are all crooked infected as if I've just digged in a person so here is the finished nails you can see you can there is nothing right or wrong about this design and you can just do it as and how you want it just that you need a few little material and i'm sure all this material is there in your house you have fevicol you have tissues so i'm i have used as i've told you already i've used the material which is very very easily available here is my wound and this tissue makes amazing skin now here you can see i'll just show you with this here you can see this all the effect the crinkled effect is because of the tissue and it is actually looking like you have just got a big large wound on your hand and this 3d part this is really really bad so with this we come to the end of our halloween special and this was really creepy and when it was almost very very creepy i decided to put some more stitches on it and this was not painful seriously and yes uh it is looking very very painful but it is not so yes with this we finish up with the design and i really hope you will rock all your halloween parties do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel to subscribe you just have to press a small button on the right hand bottom corner of your screen right now and thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time bye bye